Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jay here. Welcome back to the channel. So this is not your usual studio space that you see behind my you know, videos as background. This is my workspace. This is where I eat, you know, what is this? Green tea, Korean uh, ice cream and Tim Hortons and stuff like that. This is my workspace. So bear with me with the poor quality in terms of video and audio and also the sound that's coming from the computer and stuff like that but i have very useful information for you today and that is how do you find and buy vintage pieces that's worth your while so the reason i'm doing this topic is because i've been uh, introducing vintage stuff to my viewers recently and namely the sensory au717 i have this really strong love for vintage stuff because they're really good value and if you get the right ones they have withstood a long, long time and they perform well, built well, good engineering and some of these pieces are well worth keeping or repairing for the money. So I will be sharing more of those vintage stuff but today I wanted to dive in and show you how I do it. How do I know what vintage piece is right for what price, you know, if you find a piece. How do you know that piece, you know, should cost how much? I mean, if the guy wants $2,000 for it, is it worth $2,000? The chances are it may be worth $1,000 or even less. So unless you're filthy rich, this video may be worth your while because <laughs> even a lot of industry, industry people don't know how to do this. They ask me all the time, what is this worth? What is that worth? Well, I work in a dealership and we take and use stuff all the time. So I've learned from the basics of how to evaluate gear. And if, the, if you take it to a dealership without selling it yourself, then they charge you anywhere from 15 to 20% in Canada. Some other places may charge you less or even more, but that's how it is in Canada. That's the standard, 15 to 20 to 25% at times. So you can save a lot of money by, first of all, knowing, even if you take it to a dealer, by knowing you know, what you're working with in terms of how much you should get out of it. Because some dealers, most dealers are good, but some dealers will rip you off and say it's only worth $500 when you know when it's worth $2,000 and they'll sell it for $2,000 and give you $500, keep the rest. <laughs> I'm not gonna name who obviously, but some people do that. So anyhow, it is worth your while to do your research on your own on these vintage pieces that you may have or that you are looking to purchase, whatever it may be. So enough of me rambling, let's dive right in and I'll show you how the process works. Okay, so as you can see, you are looking at my computer right now, the computer screen. And the first website that I want to uh, show you guys is Canuck Audio Mart. Now I'm on the Canadian one, but that's because I'm in Canada. If you were in the US, you would be on the USA one. And if you're in the UK, you'll be in the UK one. Uh, I have had very positive experience with this website in buying and selling used stuff before. Uh, overall, it's a trust-based system. You do have to make an account and you have to become a member. And when you do become a member, it's been very, very good because, for example, if I click on this ad right here, then you can see that this person has 96 feedback, positive, 100% positive feedback. So very well done, Starnail. And you can see that, you know, this is a reputable seller. So it's a trust-based system. And it's very unlikely a seller like this will rip you off for a few hundred dollars to ruin his reputation and risk a negative feedback. So yes, it is a trust-based system, but I feel more safe using this website and buying from sellers here than on eBay or other platforms. Now, I don't like eBay and Audiogon as much as before. They were really good platforms before, but now because of the seller fees and for whatever reason, the pricing has increased and I'll show you that in a minute as well. So for good pricing, this website makes total sense and also who doesn't like low pricing and you know, fair pricing really. So here you can sometimes find steel deals, really good deals, you know, fair deals, you know, and you can uh, check that. Now, how do you know if it's a fair deal or not? How do you know if it's a low deal or not? Well, you can check past Canuck Audio listings, but searching here and some, a lot of people who's on this platform for years don't even know this, uh, which I was very surprised. You can see my past you know, history here, but if you search here, for example, Tanoi, these are only listings of current list listings, not uh, old listings or sold prices. So this is all current listings. To find out 
previous listings or sold prices, you go to Google. So you would head on to Google and type in Canuck Audio on Google. And then you will find this little search bar here and that's where you want to uh, search for pricing. So let's do an example. Let's say I wanted to look for Sansui units and so this one is a good one, I think, yep. So let's say I wanted this unit from Vince. He has 47 good reviews, 95.9 .9 positive feedback. Very impressive. So $790, let's see if this pricing makes sense. And of course, he is offering free shipping in Canada, which will cost anywhere from 50 to $100. So let's see if that makes sense. So I will type in Sensui AUAA8 and you can see here the past sold prices. So this one was sold and this was sold on 2018 for $520. Okay, so it could have risen in price 2018. Okay, so you here you see here. Okay, so this one was sold for $750 and this one's more current. 2020 okay makes sense and this we don't know if he offered free shipping or not so it seems like it's on par with Vince's deal Vince's deal may be a little bit better okay makes sense great so you keep doing this and so this one sold for $400 in 2011 that's almost meaningless that's way too you know way back so um, yeah, so you would keep looking for, you know, past units, you know, yeah, this is 2000. So it seems like if, the, if you bought this in 2012, then you would have made some money. But I mean, the price has increased, obviously, on a lot of these units. And rightfully so, because of, you know, different currency and stuff. And so $520, 2018. Yeah, so it seems about fair, but let's say you wanted to do more research. Okay, so you would head on to Hi-Fi Shark and you can see I've already typed it in. So you would just put the model here, you will search for it. And HiFiShark.com is very good. It shows you all the current listings on all the platforms. So you can see that on eBay, as we talked about before, overpriced, $1,000, $1,050, 1500 1300 $809. Um, so looking at this, that deal that we saw on the other platform seems much, much better. So $790. This is the same listing, I believe. Uh, let's click on it. And just redirecting me. There you go. Yep, so the same deal, same ad. So if you look at all the listings, then you can see that that one is the lowest. And that's probably why I like this platform the best. It has free shipping. This guy is offering, sorry, this gentleman is offering free shipping in Canada, $790 Canadian dollars. And anywhere else, it just seems like it's more um, expensive. Now you can check the past pricings on sold and expired. And this will show you 566 listings that has been made on anything to do with this unit. So you can see like nameplate as well. And you can see the, all the past listings and you can see that on KGG in 2020, just in August, so a few months back, you can see that the tuner and the AU666, not, so not even the a, AU888, was sold for $700 in package. So this is kind of meaningless, this is another unit. So just scroll down. So the combo was sold for over $1,000 on KGG. And let me tell you that the tuner is not really worth that much in my opinion, at least these days. And KGG is, I've been burned hard on KGG uh, before. And so I don't really recommend it. There's no really a review system or a, a community of audio files on there that can be really trusted through you know seller feedback, buyer feedback and whatnot. So I would stay away from KGG, but that's up to you. Um, again, but the pricing wasn't any really that much better in my opinion. You can see that uh, even on KGG, they sold for $750. So yeah, it seems like the pricing is reasonable. 
you know, and all these are 2020, right? So you can see that in the current market, you know, around $700 is the right pricing for this unit. So yes, he's including free shipping, so you have to account for that. So 790 is perfectly fine, I believe. But if you want to bargain, I'm sure he has some wiggle room. Most sellers do have some wiggle room, but some sellers are firm on pricing, so please do respect that. And you know what? This is how you do it. This is how you find out the pricing of your unit, whether you want to sell or buy. So even if you take it to a dealer, they can't tell you, you know, your, your unit is junk, you know, throw it in the trash, just give it to us. It's worth $200, $300 or whatever and take the profit because you know the value of your unit whether you know you just got it you know or your father gave it to you or you're sitting in your garage or whatever it is so I hope this video was helpful to you I was trying to make it short as possible this is how I do it personally and I've been doing it for years and with great success so I hope this video was helpful to you and if it was please do click that like button and also consider joining our patreon this video and practically every video on this channel was made possible by patreon so I thank you very much if you're a patreon or considering to become a patreon and so definitely consider keeping us independent and letting us keep doing these informative videos by joining our patreon and I'll see you guys on the next one